What do you make of the thinking of uh, an argument of corporate greed pushing put companies like Amazon out of cities like New York? Do you think that line of thinking is good for the Democratic Party and might be moving more mainstream with people like Bernie Sanders now entering the presidential race again for the second time? Well, let me just say, I think a vast majority of New Yorkers were for the Amazon deal. I think I saw a poll yesterday, 75% of the African-American community and 80% of the Hispanic community supported the Amazon. So I would say that this was a vast majority of folks who supported the deal. I mean, bringing 25,000 jobs at $150,000 per job is a generational change for families in New York. These would have provided jobs for many years to come. It's the biggest economic deal in New York history, and they blew it, and I, I'm just shocked. We are honored for those jobs in Virginia. The second thing is the way the deals are structured, you actually make money on them because in Virginia, we'll net $3 billion, net after all expenses uh, when that deal, and we will have created thousands of new jobs. New York's formula showed them netting $27.3 billion after 25 years. That's $27.3 billion I can put into health care, you can put into teachers, you can put into construction of new schools, you can fix roads. So it's not corporate welfare if the deals are structured in a way that you actually have money. These jobs are going to go somewhere. You want them in your state. You want to structure the program so that it actually is advantageous to your citizens. And I'm honored. I thank Amazon. And if they want to send more business our way, I'm very honored as governor. We won the Amazon Web Services Project uh, before I left office. I worked with Amazon to build the largest solar field in the entire Mid-Atlantic down in Accomack County. So Amazon has been a great corporate partner to the citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia on renewable energy and all these big issues. Uh, we Bernie, have more yeah. to okay, okay, thanks. Yeah. Bernie Sanders is off to a, a big start fundraising. You He's fundraising phenomenal. a lot. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Ten million dollars I read. Ten million. Incredible. Already. How would you differentiate yourself from Sanders specifically? Well, if this, you were to get in the race. Well, if I get in the race, I'm gonna talk about a results oriented governor, pro jobs governor who created a record amount of jobs and economic activity, but you know, it was a very progressive governor, restored more felon rights than any governor in US history, uh, kept our women's clinics open, invested a historic amount into our K-12 system, a billion dollars, and led on renewable energy. Everybody has their own message. It's not me versus Bernie. Or everybody's going to have their messages, which is great. I commend Senator Sanders, 300-plus um, thousand donors. It's impressive, and I congratulate. But everybody's going to have their own message of what they stand for. Howard Dean told me that it could be a brokered convention. That's his prediction because there's going to be wow. so many candidates. Do you foresee something like that happening? Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to pronunciate on what we think is going to happen at the convention. That would be interesting if it got all the way to the convention. Listen, we're going to have a lot of candidates running. It's great. Let them all get out there with great big new ideas. The focus is on beating Donald Trump, and we all need to come together at the end, let it be a brokered convention or someone wins the nomination before that. But, you know, it's going to be a good, exciting time.